want to show you is MD HTML, which is the combination of cascading style sheets, CSS, HTML, a hypertext markup language, and JavaScript. I will start out with the index.html file. I open it with Netpad, which has autocomplete features. So I just type doc type and it will autocomplete to the xhtml doc type. I will give it a sample title. And I will add a link to a style sheet. Again, this is autocomplete on. I call the style sheet default.css. I add the media projection and print as I always do. This is handy because it keeps Netscape 4x from looking into the style sheet. Okay, div class content. Hello world. Look at this in the browser, let's say Firefox. Uh, you can see it's unstyled, so it will take the default style of the browser. I press F9 in Netpad to open the style sheet link and I add some basic stuff like background color, white color. This is actually black, it's a shortcut. Class content, this is the selector for the content, div, divisor, and I will position it absolutely. Left 100 pixel and top 200 pixel, or let's say 50 pixel. I save this as default.css, like a link to it, and I will refresh the browser. You can see this is positioned now. To make this complete, I'll have to add a script. Let's call this dynamic.js. I press Ctrl F9 and I jump to the JavaScript. I will start with a with a movement. So I say function move right. I will save this as dynamic JS. And if the document loads, I will move a layer right. Let's say I will move right a layer. Uh, I will call it sample. This is the ID which I need to reference. So I'm looking for var element get document by ID sample. To prevent uh, all the browsers from going here, I will ask if the browser understands this. If get document by ID is true, then we will go here. And now we need a timeout loop to move this to the right. So we get a global variable x, which we set to 100. And we have a timeout loop. Okay. And now we will start set timeout. Move right. Let's say 100 microseconds. And we will increase the X by 10 pixels. And we will position the whole thing. Element, uh, element style left becomes this value. Now let's see if it works. Come on, move me. This is the break in XHTML. This space is just for backwards uh, compatibility. Okay. Oh yeah, I need to assign the timeout. Give 
this system style color yellow background color blue font white bold border two pigs dotted green it's really ugly heading 10 px width 100 height 100 px overflow hidden this means this width and height is never uh, crossed because every content that is too big will be simply hidden okay I go back to Firefox nothing is moving so I will check if get document ID I will do a little alert which says I'm here Oh yeah, it's get element by ID, sorry. Because the I'm here didn't alert it, I knew I had to change this line. It still doesn't work. Oh yeah. I need to put the document here first. And there you go, now it moves. Okay, there's no stopping it. So I better give it a max. So only if it's uh, below this limit will it move. So it will stop at 1000 pixels, or let's say 600. I refresh, and it should stop somewhere around here. Okay, that's good see this is just a layer which could contain anything for example could put an image inside let me create a small image mm, 100, 100. this is paint shop pro which is good for creating pixel based images it's not really good for anything else like retouching a photo uh, we create some stuff Again, this is pretty ugly. Uh, I will save it as one JPEG, close it, and reference it. Image source one dot JPEG alt equals zero. This is just so it's valid refresh again you can see my ugly image moving now I can also add some opacity uh, transparency effect I will use mass opacity 5.5 this is for Firefox and Mozilla to have this uh, transparent in Internet Explorer I will use filter alpha opacity yeah, let's see you can see it actually moves above this layer with this with the slight transparency effect maybe to show this a bit better I can uh, give the body a background image Now you can see it overlays the background. Well, maybe I don't want to start this effect when the body loads. I want to start it on a click. So, if you click here, I want to fire this uh, move right function. I will bold this with a strong element. Refresh in Firefox. Okay, now I can't click there because it's overlaying the other element. So I will move the sample a 
bit to the right. There you go. I click here and it starts to move. To adjust the start position, I will go back, press Ctrl F9 to the uh, initial X uh, value. I put it to 300, like you see here. And I will refresh again. Click here, it's moving. <laughs> 